In this session, let's focus on KV Secret Engine. How can we enable it, disable it, how to configure it. So let's see this. So in the previous session, we have discussed about the introduction, okay, key features. In the previous session, we also discussed about the installation, what is the difference between Dave and Enterprise. Now with this, let's move on with this topic. So you can see I have started my vault with uh, in the Dave mode following these processes I always have to keep these two variables okay you can see here this vault address vault token skip verify as I am using dev mode so below two are not needed but first two are required to make a connectivity or to make a connection or communication with the vault in the dev mode so I have started my vault like this and uh, you can see here the sealed is false this is my root token so now I can log in from the web. I have logged in as a root here. Now, as I have said before, that with Vault Dev mode, a KV with version two always comes enabled. Okay, so you can see this is the secret engine, but it has nothing in it. Create your first KV. Okay, so let's log in. This is not needed. We have already set. Okay, but let's just to show you. Address is this what login done and this is my root token. Mm, secrets list. Let's see what all secrets I have. So this will give you the number secrets list. So secret is there. Okay, you can see here secret is there. So let me now list down. Okay, what all the secrets I can see right now. So I have this secret enabled and this copy hole. So secret, you can see it from the UI. Secret, uh, a KV engine with the name secret is already enabled. Now let's create one more. Okay. So this time the path will be this MCU KV and version will be two, of course, and KV. So if I do like this, success now let's see what happened in the ui so if i switch it back so you can see a version 2 kv has been enabled by this path okay. let's do the secret list again what we see so we see the secret with type kv has been created but the description is not there so let's you know tune it let's now configure it so secret tune i'm adding the description here so okay done now i'm doing the secret list again so you can see the description has been added so this is how i can tune my engine and i can read the properties as well okay so right now so you can see the configuration now maximum version allowed is zero zero it means infinite now let's modify this so this is how i can modify my kv configuration now i'm setting it as five now let's read it again so you can see maximum version has been changed so this is how i can configure it and if i want to disable it so you can see mcu is there Let, let's disable it and do the listing again okay now i have disabled it you can see success disabled the engine and now if i do the secret list again so that has gone let's check it from the ui again gone what is the difference between kv version 1 and kv version 2 so before you know we have only we had only list get put and delete we didn't have something called destroy or versioning was not there metadata thing was not there rollback wasn't there so these are the features okay vault has been provided with version 2 okay so moving on let's quickly log in with the root again now let's do some um, create some kv and play with it so i have already set up but still setting it again okay now let's create so this is how we create a kv okay here <coughs> and let's play with this secret engine so right now it is nothing is is there so i'm setting i'm creating my first kv here Okay, so let's check it from the UI. 
so you can see now the secret called hello has been created and it has a user i mean key as this and value as this one so if i want to retrieve it via cli so i can do like this or if i want to just keep get it in the api way so i can set format equals to json so now you can see i can see or or even if i do uh, retrieve it by jq so jq upon r dot data dot data this path dot data dot data i can see my name or again if i do one if i go one more so it will retrieve it me around so this is how um, i can retrieve my value now as i said you know in the version 2 we have versioning enabled so let's make use of it so i'm appending this okay excited with the existing one and whenever i fetch this value i always it always pulls the latest version so if i do this okay you can see the version is one and if i retrieve the value again let's see so it retrieved me excited uh, excited equals to yes and my name equals to value see if i see it from ui so if I, this is hello and you can see these two values are there but but have attention here this is version two if i switch it back to version one it on, it should show me only my name so let me switch it back to version 2 excited equals to s and my name equals to s now what if i want to retrieve only version 2 or version 1 or field specific so this is how i can make my retrieval specific okay so this is how it will retrieve a version 2 specific value and this is version 1 specific value if i want to be a more specific okay now how to delete so these are the delete and delete is there destroy is there so difference between these two is delete is delete versions of secrets stored in kv and delete is again undoing what you have done in, with the delete and destroy is something let's say i have created version 2 and i want to remove it so i can just do rem uh, remove the version 2 out of it so delete So version 2 has been deleted now let's see let's go here again now version 2 has been deleted okay i have only version 1 available now let's undelete it undelete okay let's see from the ui again if i go here and things got back so this is how a delete and delete and again same goes with the uh, destroy this will delete the um, version 2 and uh, yep yeah, that's it that's it that's pretty much for kv <coughs> so in this session we saw how to tune configure a kv engine now in the next which will be an important session guys please uh, have a look we'll discuss about roles and policies so we will uh, so uh, i'll portray that rules and policies via these three so we will create three different users and three different policies thanks for watching my video please like comment and subscribe this will help me to work on myself